Keep up the good work. Your videos help and inspire a lot. Thanks for keeping me around, Villa. I really appreciate that prime. Folks like you are a big part of why Stamp is able to be my job. How do you feel Kate as a utility to drop in decks with no explicit synergies? I think Kate has enough incidental synergies that I would expect her to have some synergies in every deck you want to play her in. This is the play, actually. Cracked? Actually cracked, I think. That was awesome. I don't know if this deck is good or not, chat, but I'm fucking sold on everything after that play. Good golly. That was freaking awesome. Oh, I don't know what I'm supposed to do this turn. My brain hurts. I think it's this, I think it's this. Classic werewolf by night, help! My brain, it hurts! Please! This is actually insane, yeah? Oh, they just didn't play for the middle. Are we winning the left? I think we're short on the left, yeah? That's nah, fine, Sage is correct. Victory. Nah, it's fine, Sage is correct. That was a stellar first game for Kate and Dog, huh? Not sure if deck is good, certain confirmed that it is great. Name one deck with a better pair of 310s, I'll wait. This deck needs a fourth location, mood.
I'm concerned by its vulnerability to Sandman. Well, you should have read the deck title. You know, then you would know that this deck has no vulnerabilities. Are you going to try Marble Boy today or tomorrow? Maybe tomorrow? I don't know. Marble Boy doesn't really have any interesting decks, I don't think. I think it's probably plenty playable and good, but it's just, like, not compelling. It's, it's very much looks like a cookie cutter, put this card into the deck where it's all, that deck that's already good and, like, go from there. Is Sandman really popular right now? Yeah, I think Sandman is the best and easiest best deck to play at the moment. Maybe he gives Dracula Zoo a push. Maybe that sounds kind of cope to me, though. So the way uh, Werewolf works with Tardax is um, the card you play has to have an odd reveal, and the card you Tardax into has to have an odd reveal, I believe. Or maybe it's just the one you turn into. The one you turn into definitely has to have it. It might just be that, actually. That's a, that's a fun one for us. Actually, does it matter because we're playing against the AI? Oh, I feel like Red Guardian being able to reduce the power of Colossus feels wrong. Sandman a good example of when you nerf cards like Doc and Leech, players will simply find the next most powerful card. Is there ever an end to this cycle? Or if they nerf Sandman, will there simply be another card that takes his place and becomes the new villain? Won't someone please think of the Sandman players? They're persecuted and the persecution will never end. Why? Why do you hate Sandman players? I think it is incredibly nonsensical to imply that there is an endless stream of Sandman adjacent cards. I think what you posted in my chat there is a very typically lazy, slippery slope argument that you hear in card games and lots of other places that are logically inconsistent and don't hold up under any amount of actual scrutiny. What do I, what do I mean by that? Nobody is talking about Sandman being annoying and annoying to play against and obnoxious simply because it's good. There are a number of things that are good in Marvel Snap right now. The problem with Sandman and old Professor X and old Dr. Octopus is that they are cards. No, no, see, this is this is what I'm getting to. You're not letting me finish my statement, so I'm gonna ban you. Um, it's not about the card being good. It's about the card's effect always having been toxic cards that don't let you actually play the game are toxic and Marvel Snap is kind of a mediocre game when cards that don't let you play are the best thing to be doing. So it is not a I people dislike this thing because it's the good thing. 
It's, uh, things that don't let you actually play the game are fucking toxic and should never be the best thing and be popular. So, if this is a design that should never be popular, is it a design that should exist? That's, that's what it, that's what it's about. Sandman was a toxic, obnoxious card, even when it's not popular. It's just only problematic when it's popular. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. I'm gonna play Nico Badaru out here, so that way we can copy whatever the plus six card is we're gonna draw next turn. It's gonna be a banger. I'm gonna give the incredibly lukewarm take that Marvel Snap is more fun when you can actually play your cards. Sandman is simply a counter to the best thing. That's not really true. In fact, I would go so far as to say every single time someone's called out a card like Sandman or Professor X or Dr. Octopus, they're like, it's just a counter card. No, it's objectively good. It's not countering things. It's just objectively good, and that's why it's seeing play. Unfortunately, missed on the Rocket Raccoon, but I felt they were most likely to play into one of these two. Can't win them all. Yes, exactly that. Running into a toxic card every 15 to 20 games is annoying. Running into it every every three games is exhausting. The Sandman decks have objectively good stats. Just for, for reference, the, the Sandman decks are ge genuinely good Marvel Snap decks. I think I'm just vibing for now. That's so sad. It means I can't black swan. Hoping to draw Viper here or Wolf. Wolf's not terrible. have had such an insane last turn here. This is eight in the middle, right? In one of Glenn's latest answers about Shang-Chi, he compared it to the queen in chess, calling it a foundational piece 
of their respective metagames that often shape other choices. Yeah, but I've been saying Queen should be nerfed for years now. So maybe, maybe they should get that shit out of there. Jess's chest has been way overdue for a balance patch. Victory. As a pod, I agree. <laughs> Still don't want to do any of those. All right, chat. This wolf dog deck is uh, feeling better than I was expecting it to. It's definitely more fun than the previous one we were playing. Cook Thanos plus Marvel Boy. Is there? I really don't feel like there's much to cook with Marvel Boy yet. Like truly, I feel like you're one of the least inspired deck builders that's ever existed in Marvel Snap. If you can't like look at Marvel Boy and then like fill in like ten cards instantly. Like it's it's a it's a very sec, second dinner built the Marvel Boy decks for you. They have very clear, clean cut things you're supposed to be doing with him. I don't know. Maybe we put we built a debris shell for him. Maybe we'll poke around with that. But I'd also be surprised if that deck's worth playing. I'm gonna stay here. Fisk Tower is kind of bad for the werewolf, but the rest of my hand is pretty good, so I want to I want to stay. All right, werewolf, werewolf dodged ice box and grapple arrow getting hit can be fixed by black swan later. wrong to play into the Golia here. Oh, you know what? I should end the dog in the Golia. Because now I have to play into a Golia a second time if I want a Black Swan. Yeah, I messed this up. Uh, I assume our deck is just like 0% against Wong. Oh, just Modoc. This is a lot less frightening than I thought it was going to be. Grapple Hero, actually kind of awkward. Is 
Wait, is this fine? I think this works how I want. Pretty sure this works how I want. Dog jumps. This sends dog jumps viper pulls. Okay, we were we were fine either. I thought I thought grapple would pull. Victory. Should we play the demon because it's free? Yes, sir. I was I was distracted, chat. I didn't play the demon because I was distracted. It's weird. I I would have expected these to resolve in the order the card was in play. So I was expecting Wolf to jump and then grapple to pull Viper in. But I guess, I guess Wolf is always last. Yeah, Grapple, Grapple must, or Grapple probably always goes first is what it is. Would be my, would be my expectation. That's fine, we won the game and we, we got some knowledge. Should have, should have played uh, Demon out in the center as well, obviously, but. Do I have a favorite card back? You know, I don't think I do offhand. Murder world. I was gonna go ahead and kill the hood for free here. No, no Viper or Nico in sight. Death is a six cause. That's technically correct. Oh, are we playing a beer? Might be playing a beer, gamers. Mm, impressive. Put this out, hoping to catch up with the Shadow King next turn. It's not a beer, your variants are better. Fair. Oh yeah, they're playing a bounce variation, it's not an exact beer. Also worth noting on their bounce variation, they bricked their draw when they Falcon Decayed this turn. Oh, I guess grabbing priority is worse when I'm playing the Rocket Raccoon out. It's a very lucky pig. I don't know about lucky. Shang Chi's our pig's pretty likely to do Shang Chi that's lurking in their hand for the end of the game. Sick gamer.
People have been saying Kate Isman. Who is people? I want fucking names. My next card I play is turning into a demon, which means it's not moving the dog. My first time drawing the Shadow King and it feels not great. Cook here is bailing on a Nineveh ear like a madman. Victory. Oh, the real big brain play. Again, with Nico queued up in our hand with Hood, we're not just playing Hood out willy-nilly. We're gonna wait until we either draw Viper or Nico rolls a mode that can interface with Hood's negative three. Govain, thank you for the 70 buns. Welcome back, appreciate it. Thank you for the three quarters of a year. Welcome back. What do we think of this and then Hood Viper next turn? I think I'm into it. Wow, Mia. You murdered. You murdered my ham. Monster. Fucked, fucked my entire family. My gosh oh baby obviously they're in AI but like this is the dream this is the dream video gamers my only way this gets better is by drawing werewolf by night next turn Systems go. All right, uh, doggo, this, 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 this. Am I, is this beating 26 in the middle? Uh, it's one, two, three, four, five. So this is 12 dog jumps. One, two, three times. So that's eight. So that's 20, 22. This is only three. Uh, this lets me win the center. Ship it. No! Victory. Why do the bots exist if they're going to retreat? Why? Why do the bots exist 
if they're not gonna give me dopamine? Bro! I just wanna watch my dog chase its tail around the barn! Come back, Mia! Come back! <sighs> Life is so unfair! It's so, it's so unfair, chat! Oh, the humanity! <sighs> I mean, maybe it's the lack of humanity, really. Maybe that's, maybe that's the problem. The problem isn't the humanity, it's the lack of it. That's the maddest anybody has ever been while having a winning hand. <laughs> yeah, a real, a real human being would have been like, I won the raft, I'm staying. Ship it. Stiggy! Thank you for the 52 months. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Uh, I think we're vibing for now. This quake could be deadly in the, in the most literal sense. Does War Machine prevent Death's Domain effect? It does not. Why getting picked is so sad. This is kind of incredible, right? It kicks the dog here and then Quake pulls here. And then Castle Blackstone ends mid and Werewolf ends mid. Uh, if I didn't want to, if I wasn't worried about scaring them off, I'd snap them. But I think, now they stay every time, right? See, they stay every time. Never, they never leave here. Well, I'm a little scared they're going to leave. Ah, I lost the coin flip on Death's Domain. I think I was supposed to put Death's Domain into the left. Does plus does does nineteen win the left? Oh, 
Oh, Grapple does say this location, doesn't it? I didn't think about quick. The username Mayonnaise Sink Bath with this avatar really elicits feelings. I'm not, I'm not, like, the, the jury is out on what those feelings potentially are, I think, but they're there. It's, it's definitely uh, something. Mayonnaise Sink Bath. Oozing with flavor. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. He wasn't gonna flip there anyways, joke's on you. Oh, I should end on a grapple arrow. That's so smart. Oh, no, that would have been really smart. I think we die now. I'm mad at this game. If I could just play this somewhere. Hellfire Club just giving us the business in the center. There's no way plus six wins mid is the problem. Escaped. Yeah, I should have I should have grapple arrow on, on four or ended on grapple arrow on four to give me more flexibility. SG. 
two two bad locations for us, and then I played them poorly. I almost said I'm ready for this to be another toxic location, but this is a bot, so it doesn't matter. Well, if this isn't the most toxic AI shit I've ever seen, I don't know what is. Toxic AI username is Sandman checks out. Yep. About to lose to this bot, Chanik. We're about to lose to this bot. Never. That's the that's the kind of faith I need. Oh, thank you. Thank you, my dear AI overlord. May you never take my cubes away. We had to lose to a single bot in Conqueror's chat. We certainly aren't about to start now. Marvel boys so far completely uninteresting and probably plenty powerful meanwhile I think Kate Bishop is one of the more interesting sequencing cards they've released in a while and I expect we'll probably spend a ton of time playing with her on this channel We're just fine, man. Want odd reveals to make my wolf jump around. Kate's a wonderful draw after Subterranea happens. Fingers crossed we uh, get lucky and spike Black Swan here.
This game been pretty impactful in the games that we've played. She's not a make a big swing style card. She's a small value card. If you're looking for something big and flashy, Kate is not that. White Widowed the Murray Island. Sure. Every subterranean game we've played today, we've drawn three rocks. Red Guardian we played against a little while too. That card's obviously uniquely good against Werewolf. Is that card good in general right now? It doesn't have a lot of good targets, right? That's atrocious in all the Sandman decks that are running around. The arrow animations are very good, yes, for sure. Agree, agree with that. Oh my god, Acid Arrow is terrible against Marvel Boy. I have Shadow King though. When you accidentally win the Eternity Rage. It's the Collector deck. Fine. Nothing particularly flashy. Where's the monkey? We have a couple of turns to draw monkey still. I think I'm supposed to leave, but I also have a couple of draws that could be fun, so we're gonna hang out. Spider hamming the only card in their hands. They have a three nine Gilgamesh.
Does this win the center? This is two. This is zero. Two zero five eight. Sorry, this is four. Four zero seven twelve. And this is five. This is zero four three five. So one. Two, three, four, five. This is 10, 15. I think this wins the center. Take no chance for staff lessons here. Yeah, counting. Counting, not even once. Man, I think, uh, I think I'm gonna have to revisit all the werewolf decks I like with Kate Bishop now. She was, she was spectacular alongside the dog in this. Obviously, I don't know that I have particularly strong details or thoughts on the other details in here. Uh, Shadow King was clunky at some points, but it also had moments like that last game where, like, it it was instrumental in getting us over the top. You know, like, is is Black Swan Hit Monkey really what I want to be doing with Sandman in the metagame? I don't know, maybe, but maybe not. But she she definitely is sweet because she. She gives you, she's a move for the dog, and then on average, she's two more moves for the dog. Three, three out of her four. She's guaranteed to be at least one more, right? And sometimes she's two more, which is gas, and then her with, her with Black Swan and Monkey was sweet too. With Sandman, should we be playing War Machine? Yeah, I mean, you could play War Machine. You just can't. War Machine and Black Swan in the same games on turn five, but if you really wanted to play this and you wanted to beat Sandman, you're probably supposed to shove War Machine in, yeah? Probably in the, the Shadow King or the Black Swan slot, but you could also just like punt the Sandman matchups for one cube and like call it a day, I think is pretty, pretty reasonable. As far as higher series cards go in this deck, I think you need Werewolf by Night. Um... These other cards, I don't know, I could probably take or leave. Like I said, I'm not sure if Werewolf is ideal here. Another place I would like to try Kate Bishop alongside Werewolf is I've played, uh, where is it? Thorwolf. Playing that 